Hello people, as you know, I'm Hanbob. Uh, as you remember from the last episode, um, there is, like, we've got, uh, in, gone to this bar, like, so my kid Tannen, and Arthur's a sneak. So let's see what this panic burn does. And I put some tiles on, so don't worry. Hey! Hey! What was that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. Okay, maybe you know what? Oh. Just down. You're trying my patience, Audie. I hope the sisters are mer McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Um Premium bootleg hooch. Okay, uh, no, I think I have an idea what to do. Right, if I do the panic burn again. Hey! hey! You hear something? Alright, now he's gonna lean over the bar, and then if I, I get hope the. the... There's a mercy. Matches! Got knocked out. Hmm. A hundred and twenty proof. Whoa. Do you need a I hope hint? the sisters of mercy approve of our take it if you do other things out of the room. Okay, so how's that game? Oh, so Our redecorating. <laughs> Ow. Aye, aye. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Okay. So then I. So I get and I do this. Come on, Artie, wake up. Then if I get the ball and put this in. Wham! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Yay! Uh, okay. uh, uh. Hey, you! Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is Whoa. anyone down there? Everything's spinning! <laughs> Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Yeah. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. <laughs> oh, back into the wing. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. <laughs> Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. 
Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Yeah. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. That's me. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. That's good, I think. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. Hmm? It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. Yeah, of course oh, we do. Possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? Don't that worry, was a close call. You think he'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completed come August 25th. August 25th? That's, That's the day good. Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. <laughs> Sorry, I, I love that to teach you. Oh, we're back at Docks. No, Marty's play. Probably Docks. Second. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, they fly residents. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go, I understand, Doc. Yeah. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've oh, got to yeah, go to the bank too. and stop that estate sale you told me about. Suit. Oh, oh! The game. You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. Okay, so next. All right. Seeing your life, normal eighties teenager. Bug zapper. When do we get a bug zapper? Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. What? Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. What are you talking about? Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty. No, that's impossible. What? Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. I need mean, this last night. You just saw me last night, Dad. Don't you remember? Doc's estate sale, the DeLorean. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Mommy. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! But it's me. Go away. Shame on you. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Um. Ah. What I did when I was eight. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. Oh. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. You in a wheelchair? Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What happened to you? Oh, what do you God. think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Oh, uh, Reasonably. God. Who are they? He's brothers. Like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Oh, God. 
I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, uh, wait. I'm trying to process here. What did you do to my dad? What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, because you're going to need one in uh, like three seconds. Don't that way. Uh, Tell me. What about my mom? <laughs> what about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Uh, jump. Here's what I, I still don't understand. How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh -huh. Shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen uh, family never lets him forget about it. Mm -hmm. I got a question. What are you after? <laughs> what are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash. But this month, we can take Georgie. it out of your hide. Oof. Hey! What did I do to thing. you? Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back, the thing with the manure truck. Uh, Which one? Dodge that way. Beth. Uh, where's your dad? Wait, does all this have something to do with Kid Tannen? Pop, huh? what about him? He was supposed to end up in jail. Jail? Pop's never spent a day in jail in his life. The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Man, no! Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued wow. service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Uh, duck. Ooh. Okay, but... Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds but... and the bugs, butthead! Can't you pick Here's what I else? still don't understand. Can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys! It's kind of our thing. And another thing. When did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back. So the kid gloves can um. come off. Oh, and another thing. Look, can we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. I was wondering. Don't. How can be One more win. question. If what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. How did I get rid of him? Let me ask. Shut it. <laughs> I was wondering. Shame. Don't. Oh, I was wondering. Oh, okay, Don't. now I get. Let's see. If I okay, duck. tell me no this. No more questions. Okay.
<laughs> well done. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Hey, kids. How's it going? Kid? No one in Hill Valley matches with the Tannen family. Clear the door in about safe for you. Marty, get in! This timeline's been <laughs> compromised! No kidding! Hey, what is doing, right? Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape the state with justice. As a consequence, a tannin wow. have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you no could be forever way. stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Oh, Come on. Come on. Okay. Gazebo. Looks like some sort of experiment or something. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. <laughs> that hot babe I saw so coming I out of the happens, speakeasy. When she does, episode. history says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related Bob to Jenny. Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse so in the hands of a Tanner crime family. We need to go back into Tanner's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tanner arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. <laughs> Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place okay. to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. So, where are we? Why is it not got a stool? Come on, let me guess it. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's uh, speakeasy. No. Am I right? Uh, no. At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Yourself, what, uh... respect, but you should care. what in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, <laughs> why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing uh, in that getup? I'm going undercover. I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Oh, water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Imi and I have been up to. 
famous last words. Yeah, let's go to right. speakeasy. Now, where's that speakeasy? Right. I mean, that's thing for... I mean, last thing, like before, um, we have to wrap this up. Oh, I think it's loading some. Yeah, it's loading something. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. Okay, so what's the word? The Words are for word. wimps. Chaskins. Ew. Okay, door. door. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Door is day. Door is day. Raid. What will you do if there's a raid? Radio for help. Radio for help? Where do you want to be Boy, tomorrow? Borneo. Oh. Take a hike, Squirt. Come on. Yeah. Who told you to Hieronymus come here? Bosch. Hieronymus Bosch? What will you do Radio if there's help? a raid? Radio for help? Uh, Where do you hang your hat? Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Okay. Tar matches. It's pretty good. I mean, we, we should know it looks pretty good anyway. But, as you, as you know, we had a bit of a sneak peek. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only. Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Oh, Out of my way, fun. kid. Just I got some it. sorrows to drown. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. Okay. That's why I don't, I don't care. care. I don't but care. yeah, um... Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!